Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? So, today we are at the compound. We need to do some work. Uh, there's been a little bit of background work going on. So, let me just show you guys what's been going on so far. But maybe before that, let's recap on the plumbing stuff. So, you will see now we all closed up. All the holes are also closed up. Uh, you know the tank is now up there. We can feed water. I've already fed via the new system to feed water. I've done it. It's working 100%. Water is going out. Currently, there's water going into the rooms. I just opened the valve. As you can see, the step ladder there. So if we go to the back over here, you can see also closed up. And also closed up there at the back here. Also closed up. This hole... The, the the hole that we dug here was not very deep so you will see like at the end there you'll see some pipes still visible because it was not really deep this actually has to be a bit deep i also did some work but i'll show you in the in the in the rooms now i also did some work on the waist the shower waist because they were too high so i had to grind them down take them down a little bit so that we can make the new plan that we have for the for the showers you will see that soon enough so the other thing we've been busy with is getting the 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 rooms ready for tiles prepping them for tiles because the way they were uh it was not even so the floor was not even so what it was going to cause is you're going to use a lot of cement and it was going to take a little bit more time and chances are you will start hearing i don't know if maybe you've had it before whereby if you're working at some places with tiles you will feel like an echo when you're stepping on a style on a tile or you feel like the tile is hollow something like that so that would usually be because the floor was not actually level so you have to compensate with cement and all of that so normally that comes with a bit of issues then tiles can crack later on because it was not set in level what, 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 what. so you had to prep for that so that's prep now if we go in you will see i hope you guys can see you will see that the floor is nice and smooth now so they topped it up and floated it so that we nice and flush so we're looking good we're looking good over here you see even the room i've got the doors out so that's actually what we need to put in today uh but yeah we're looking good so when it comes to the shower guys um the shower was a bit stressful um because the bathrooms are a little bit small and the showers i wanted to put in they are 900, 900 by 900 and then they make everything else like there's not much room to do anything so when my brother was here we he saw it and got to speak a bit like what other ideas is there for us to push this and i listened to what he was saying and basically i went that route so basically the bathroom is a shower as well so the whole bathroom is also a shower so what i mean is you will see that we also uh topped up the toilets but now the trick with the this bathrooms is that they actually leveling down to the waist so it's not straight over here that side is going down to the shower or to the waist this side is going down to the shower waist also this side is going down to the shower waist so this whole bathroom is actually a shower so i'm not gonna put any more the i will sell the one i have the shower that i have here we're not gonna put that there anymore it was that oval shower so we're not putting that anymore i'll just this is the cold water inlet pipe for water so i'll just get that fixed up and then uh we're gonna have to chase the wall again so that we can put in the shower head over there and then i will just put in a rail from the top here that will go to the side that is then going to work as the curtain door so all of this will be the shower so i'm going to put tiles for showers on the bottom on the floor here uh, and then you will have your curtain 
to actually close and you will have enough space so you won't be limited because now a glass door you limited you know but with a curtain uh curtain uh with a curtain you know it's flappy so you can move around you can so i feel like it will be a more better deal for the split for the space that we're playing with over here so if you pull back the curtain obviously if you pull back the curtain let's say now roughly to this side if you pull it all back there then you know that you've got all of the space literally like this just the curtain will be there the rail will be on top there so you will basically have all the space to still be able to walk in you know wash your like i said guys let's just test this just throwing a bit but we should have water coming out here we got water you know what i'm saying you know we can flush you know what i'm saying so all of this is working guys all of this is working the the the, 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 the planning that i do that i did is actually working but there is a problem we'll get to that very soon so toilets are also in nicely the only other problem that the people who will be staying in this rooms will just have get to get get used to is the floor is a bit high so the toilet becomes a little bit low so you will be sitting a little bit lowish but you, you should still be able to do your business you know this will this will be your daily exercise when you're here you know what i'm saying so this will still work you should still be able to do your business without too much of a problem you know um the basin is now also a bit low because the floor went up so this is still possible to work it to go a little bit higher but i'll leave it here for now see how it works shouldn't be too much of an issue but we do have some leeway it will be a bit of work but we do have some leeway to lift that up if we need to so that's the deal with the shower guys so i'm happy with it because now this will be more functional even though it's small at least you will not have the shower actually cluttering it up with the glass doors and all of that so the whole thing is a shower the only thing i need to put here left for this thing to be actually complete not complete but for to be functional fully functional is a shower head shower head and i have to put in a pipe for some hot, hot water i still need to come up with a pad for hot for hot water so i can actually have that going on here if i can get the shower head because i already bath with cold water so if i put in a shower head here and uh what's this a valve for the for the shower i can actually start bathing here and i just need to put in a rail and this thing is fully functional the only thing will be left to tie is to tile it up and pick it up wherever it needs paint and tile it up wherever it needs tiles but that's the deal over here and yeah man i'm really happy about this just need to get the towels in there yeah so a bit of work has been happening a bit slow I, like a bit slow for me but going forward you know all of this thing, this things need money and money is not necessarily coming easy so we're able to get there so today's job sorry guys talk, talking too much but yeah giving you guys an update and what's coming so today is the doors i need to cut down the doors so you will see there this floating or the top is a bit high so we need to cut the doors so i'm gonna cut that and also compensate for the for the tiles when they come in so i need to do that today this will be for all the doors so the room doors they are already out so I'll start with that, I'll take measurements and see what I have to work with on the doors. Cut those, put them back, and then we need to get into this guy here. Cut these or take this off, cut them up, and we're good to go. And then the guys must come and just finish off the little pieces that are left for the for the uh, for the doors for the top here. Just that. Then that will be done. So with the plumbing, the problem that we have is leaks. We've got a couple of leaks. This one here being the most one that leaks over here. 
I don't think I'm going to do anything now about it. I'm going to continue with the progress for other things that I have planned. So I will not do, be fixing that now because at least everything does work. But yeah, it's something to look at. So right now I'm, I'm dealing with two ways I will be dealing with it or two options. The one will be I'll fix up this when we get this rooms up. Or if it's very bad, I'll fix as it gets bad. So if they say this point is bad, I'll just open up here and figure out how to fix this corner here to get it to be okay. Um, because now this guy I open and close as I come to the compound. So it's not fully always open. But if I'm staying here, it will probably be fully, uh, fully open most of the time. So we will probably lose a lot more water that way. So if it's too bad, I will open it up and figure out how to fix the corner that's leaking a lot. Or whichever part is leaking a lot, I'll figure out how to actually get that going. And yeah, that will be that. Yeah, so that's that. But everything is functional. Though that room there, that last room, I don't know if maybe I don't have enough pressure coming from the top to get to this room. But the water in this room comes out a bit low but this side on this tap the water actually comes out fine i'll open it but you know they just worked here but in the bathroom the water comes out very slow so i'm not sure if maybe the pipes are like if you do that you see the water comes out slow so i don't know what's the story with that I'm assuming maybe pressure, but at the end of the day, the water coming here at the back is almost running the same length as, as the front. And maybe let's open this a bit. Let me show you guys. As you can see, there's, there's, pop -up, there's proper water pressure coming out of here for, for, for what we're doing. But nothing over here. So I don't know what's that about because it's only this toilet. And the other funny thing is the water to the shower, if I open this, water actually sprays out nicely here and then just doesn't get there. So the only thing for me that sounds like maybe a pipe could be clogged up, but now it's difficult to actually investigate that or try to fix that because now the pipes, you don't know way you know so not a problem for now i don't use this one so yeah but that's where we at guys and that's where we're going for now so let me pack up not pack up but let me start picking up the my setup for the what's this setup for cutting the doors let's cut the doors quickly and fit them in and then i'll see you there
guys. So I'm busy with the doors, and we find ourselves in, in a little bit of a predicament. Um, so what you will see is the part when I measured that I had to cut off is actually way too far so while i was cutting i knew this was gonna happen i knew exactly this was gonna happen because of the big part basically this is the portion i had to take off like you can see that is huge on a door and don't forget uh i might have also cut this piece here uh, initially when i was fitting the doors the first time so that the doors they could fit in so to get it to fit now with the new top yeah, I, I, I require to take off this big portion here, which then leaves this gap in the door. But it's not a train smash. So what I'll do is, this is the big portion that I cut off. So what I'm basically doing is I'm scraping off the board. So I cut off the sides, the sides, these ones here. So I already took those off from this guy here. And now what I'm doing is I'm cleaning off basically this board over here from this door that's what i'm doing over here you can see all these bits and pieces i'm using the tool that actually shaves the door so i'm just taking that all off see i'm on this side now and then i'll just put this back in here it will fit in nicely so i will just put this in here just make it fit and get it in there Oh, okay so this is the way it was actually in as you can see there that's the way it was in but now what i can actually do because this side fits in nicely what i can just do is just shave off the little bit here if it needs shaving if not i will just hammer this thing in over there let's actually try that first before i carry on cutting all of this off here because this is a lot of work just to shave that off so i'm gonna put it by its side and see what happens hey guys so it seems like it can work um so i've now put it in there i can just still hammer it in place so but i was able to put it in there so i just need to put a screw in so that it holds this put a screw in here so that it holds it level to where I've cut and it will work this is the bottom side of the door so it shouldn't be really too much of a train smash if I have it like this inside the only problem is this gaps here you see this gaps there but those I don't think are also too much of a problem I can always after putting the screws in I can always just get those little nails you use for covers those nails that are not necessarily easy to see I can then just hit that just put three in here and it will hold it in nicely like that hey guys so I think I was able to come right there it is now in I just put a bolt here at the back and a bolt up front and we're good to go hey guys so final door is in for the bedrooms this is the door we were just working on and you will see there we've got a perfect gap so i don't think we're gonna have any issues here with tiles the other doors the other doors are also in but i'm thinking maybe we might have to take them off a bit like the one in this next door the third room I think we might need to take that one off to shave because it was a similar thing to this one but that one I just made sure I cut it thin before it actually opened up like before you saw that big gap in there so I left a thin layer of wood underneath so but it's still a bit low so either we're gonna like uh, chip into the floor so that we can level it properly or and then we'll fill it fill it up with cement and then put the tile or we're gonna have to cut off the door and I have to keep the piece that I cut off the big piece that I cut off keep it safe so that if needs be when you take off that wall I mean that door we can cut it down and I can just use that piece to fill it up the way I filled up that back door that one that goes into that room 
I can then do a similar thing and yeah, close it up. But for now, we're gonna leave it as it is. We'll figure it out with the tiler when the time comes that we start tiling over here. But yeah, the bedroom doors are all complete. Now we have to do the outside doors. And as you can see, based on the gap here, this is a huge gap, it's like that much there. So I feel like there is going to be a lot we need to take out of these doors as well, which will might leave us to the same place with the, that door. So this one goes, and especially this room four and room three, they're very huge. So I think they might leave us with that. So I'll start with this one because it's gonna be work to do it if, it, if I have to do that. And yeah, see how that goes, but we're moving and we're going slowly but surely. So let me get to this one, take off the door, go cut it, see where we at, fix if we need fix, put it back, good to go. And yeah, I'm getting tired, I'm hungry. Now I don't have food here, so. But keep it going, we keep it going. Okay guys, so look based on my measurement, the piece that I need to cut off. Can you see how much is that? So probably that will actually, I feel like that will go into the, 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 the wood that I'm able, the wood that is meant to be cut. So I think I'll, I might go beyond, but again we'll do that, turn the, turn the plank, put it in and see if that works. Guys, the door is in. Boom. As you can see, get a nice gap. I think tiles will be able to go in there nicely. Good measuring. The door is in, guys. I was really scared with these ones because they are huge. The gaps are huge. As you can see there, the gaps are really huge on these doors. So, we all good. Yeah, someone is burning something. Look at all that smoke. Can you see here? Similar thing has to happen. So, I think, I hope we're also good on here, on this door. If we good and I only have to cut once without doing anything, I should get done today. Because these ones, look at that. I just need to take off basically for the tiles. Even this one here. It won't be that much. It won't be too much to take off. Let's just move this step so that I can measure properly but oh sorry guys so I just need to take off that dent so I can measure properly but those first two those first two are actually the most that has to go off so yeah let's keep it going let's keep it moving room number three here we go Let's get it done. Let's get it sorted. Let's get all of them done. Let's get them sorted so that we can be done with this little mini project of fixing the doors. Okay, so 
the second door didn't want to play along so you can see we have here holes uh, and then this was the big piece that came out of it um so the plan was to obviously measure this here and again do what we did on that other one just put that in there but now clever me because i'm hungry and not thinking straight now i cut it too short so now obviously it leaves a gap and we don't want that so plan b is to take this one this is from the other door so you can see how close we were to actually cutting it off only like that little piece was left here this is the bottom so this is the top so only the so i can just take off this here and take this shove it in here take this shove it in here and then we're good to go so let me do that and carry on Hey guys, so I'm done. Bedroom doors are in, front doors are in, the those are in, those are in, and yeah, and it's been a long day. It's night time now. It's going to about eight o'clock, and I'm only finishing now. But at least that's done. The last room, the one that I'm in. Just when I was about to finish, it decided to, well, to, it decided that it's not done yet. My day is not done yet. And I had to entertain that. Otherwise, you know, the door will just come out on its own. So what had happened is, while I was putting the door frame in, so this frame, this door frame here, this room here and the next room, so room one and room two, those door frames are not good quality. I bought them at the same place and they're not really good quality, guys. So if I advise you, make sure that the frame that the frames that you buy is good quality frame because otherwise it will give you an issue as soon as they fit in the frame. It might give you like to the structure while they're building, it might give you an issue because when they start putting in cement to hold and all that. It can come in, cave in because the metal is too weak. And then when you start putting it doors, it might give you issues. I was sitting with those type of issues. If you look at the video where I was installing the doors, you will see that there was a lot of, just a lot of grinding and, uh, and, and, and cutting the door up just to fit the curvature of the frame because the frame now moved so just buy a proper frame guys that is good quality nice steel uh tough steel sheet you know otherwise you'll be yeah you, you're gonna get headaches so this frames didn't like you can see over here like that space now it's like almost like tearing off but this is still tight at least so what that happened is at the bottom here while i was putting in the frames those joints of that hinge actually came loose. So it popped loose and this frame now, even though the door was in there with the nail, this was still loose. So I just taped it there, two welds, which gave me stress also to get in there because now the welder, I can use a lot of amps. You have to use low amps because the sheet metal is quite weak. So yeah, that was a problem there. So got that fixed. Took me a bit of time because, yeah, again, low apps. But got it done. And, yeah, the door is in. Functions just okay. Functions just fine. So I'm glad about that, that we were able to fix it because then it was wobbling at the bottom. So it was wobbling at the bottom every time you open the door. 
So it is that speaks now. Ah, so you yeah, guys, I'm, yeah, I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's about eight o'clock now at night, and I I only ate breakfast, which was only carrots. So I'm quite hungry. I need to get out of here. So I'm busy picking up. But the job for today was success. Uh, was successfully completed, which was the doors getting all the doors cut in nicely and tied to prep for the tiles as well. So some doors are perfect for when tiles come in, the gap is nice and good, but other doors I couldn't cut too far. So, but we already know now, we, we know a plan for when we cut too much, what we can do. We've got a plan for that. So we're ready for that, sort of. I must just keep safe some other wood that I cut from the doors. But yeah, we're good. So the next thing we're gonna do here at the compound that I planned is for primer paint. So we need to put in some primer on these walls, get the primer going, and then I also wanna get uh, a map painting, uh, that's what they call it, uh, for the ceiling, so so that we can, the one that Rhino bought attaches to. So I just wanna get that going. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that, but the paint, we need to start putting primer paint in here and then hopefully paint soon thereafter and then start being busy with the ceiling. But again, I need to plan carefully because I need to, the shower guys, I need to sort out what I'm going to do with the shower um, for the hot water. Not the plan, but I need to chase and then get the hole in there for the shower, for the shower head and for the shower uh valves so yeah i need to get that but yeah you'll see as i go because things always change when i do this so we'll see but paint is the one thing that i really want to get, start getting on here the primer and then hopefully paint there soon i've already came up with what i want in terms of the color scheme i think it's gonna be nice so yeah guys it's been a long day is it bubbling and bubbling and rumbling and rumbling and what is that when you talk too much? Yeah, I'm starting to do that. I'm tired, but it's been a good day, successful day. At least I was able to get done everything I wanted to get done today. So there's no need for me to come and work tomorrow. So I hope you're doing good, guys, and doing great and going for your goals. As for me, guys, I'll see you on the next one.